Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the Dennis Bloodnock channel. Now today's video is going to be all about this. The Nikon D700, in this case with the 24 to 85 millimeter f3.5 to 4.5 kit lens. But in particular, we are going to be talking about the menu system and the buttons and controls on the D700. How easy is it to operate the D700? How easy is it to access the menus, switches, etc, etc, in order to be able to achieve whatever you need to achieve with this camera? Well, let's go through the introduction session, uh, the introduction section even, and uh, let's find out. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, well here we are with the Nikon D700 and we are set up to shoot a bit of still-ish life. Uh, we are actually shooting in the kitchen and so we are setting up the Nikon D700, if we just switch this on if you can see the uh, top plate control screen there, we have got an ISO of 2000. We have got a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second. And we have got an aperture of f4.5. Which you might be able to see on the screen there. We are using the 24 to 85 millimeter f 3.5 to 4.5 lens that we are about to photograph a candle in the kitchen. So let us take the first image. <coughs> and there we are. The photograph taken on the D700 and there's another one and if we uh, zoom in a little you can see even with a 12 megapixel camera the zoom and the quality of the uh, quality and accuracy of the autofocus is absolutely fantastic even for a camera that is 13 to 14 years old. So YouTubers, here we are with the Nikon D700. And if you switch to the, uh, the overhead camera, the uh, iPhone 11 Pro, you can see that we are shooting three ornaments in the kitchen. Anyway, YouTubers, if we want to make a change, so here is the... Uh, control pad again and if we uh, the sc uh, screen again ISO of 200 we'll keep that as it is and then we will use the front dial to bring us down to ISO of 3.5 and we are going to go for a faster shutter speed we are going to go to 1 200th let us see what we get now As you can see, 
once again, although it's only 12 megapixels, the image quality is amazing. Well, YouTubers, I hope that you found this particular video useful and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Many thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and Dennis Bloodnut will return in the next video. Thank you.